Hey everyone, it's me, Crystal, with Army Wife 101. So I'm sorry I'm late. My site has been switched around and upgraded to, well, upgraded, I should say, moved over to WordPress. And I've been kind of behind on my blogging, so I was trying to get some other important information out there. But as some of you might know, and those who are new to my site, whenever the Army Wife season starts, I do recaps. So this recap is for Army Wife season four, episode two, which premiered last night. Not premiered, but came on last night. <sighs> Now, normally I write the recaps and I kind of just tell what happens, but I have to give my own spin. Oh, so starting with Roland and Joan. Happy to say Joan is out the woods. She can see. Can you say boo-hoo when Roland appeared in the room when she opened her eyes for the second time and realized she could see? Oh, my God. I was sitting here watching it again, and I was just sitting there like boo-hoo crying because that was just like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Um, I'm so glad Joan will be able to see her daughter again. I'm sorry, I'm like fixing my shirt. She'll be able to see her daughter again. I was glad that, you know, she found a way to write the soldier who basically sacrificed his life and, you know, she received her cornea from him. So that was really, really sweet. You know, Army Wives is infamous for their touching moments. Roxy and Trevor. Roxy, get a grip. You're pregnant. Woohoo. We're excited. Tell people. It's not that serious. So what? Your husband has a second job. There's a million other people who had a second job too in the Army. It's not that serious. Um... She was getting on my nerves last night. I don't know why Roxy annoys me. I like Roxy, but she tends to kind of annoy me <laughs> because she like, I don't know what it is about her. And it's only like recently. It's not, I mean, I've always had this thing for Roxy. Like she's just cool beans character, but oh my God. So really there's nothing going on with her and Trevor. You know, my nose is running on camera and I'm not going to edit this video because I don't feel like it. Um, but yeah, so you know, she, they're going through the pregnancy thing and everybody's trying to figure out, you know, they're pretty much trying to figure out how they're going to maintain their lives and, you know, with the new baby. Really nothing major going on there. Um, Roxy's bar did get opened back up in the sense of the ban was lifted so soldiers from on post can visit now, which was causing a lot of the bars in the area to lose money. Um, so that was lifted. Which brings me to that biatch, Lenore Baker. Oh, I said this in my last week's video. Can I please, please whoop her ass? Okay, Claudia, finally, I'm so glad that next week she's going to confront her. And I'm so glad Roxy told her, you have to fight back. I, I get being the bigger woman. I get you're the general's wife, Claudia. And, you know, you have to maintain the whole, you know, demeanor or whatever, being the better person. But, no, it's time. Lenore well, needs to be told about herself because I'm just sick of her sneakiness. Um, you know, she want Claudia basically had want to get some files about reopening the getting the band lifted off of Roxy's bar she went to the office got you know asked the guy to do the files the guy said it would take a little while for the files to be brought up so she left here goes Lenora into the office you know meddling her way into the business and basically making Claudia Joy look like a fool in front of her husband afterwards um I do not like Lenore Baker and of course I like her in the sense of without her really there would be kind of no real good juiciness going on with the show but I can't wait to see her get busted next week. What I'm really wanting to know is, does her husband know that she was thrown off base the last time? Off post, off base, whatever. Thrown off last time because of what she did. I really hope that, like, that's something that Claudia Joy is storing away so that she can embarrass the hell out of Lenore Baker because I cannot stand her. I just want to punch her in her face. She's so annoying to me. Oh, my God. Pamela and Chase, moving on to the next subject. <laughs> okay, no, that's not fair. Let me give them their little one second of air time. They're corny. He's at Fort Carson with his training or whatever. Pamela's still mad at him. They're trying to work out their marriage. Storyline over. Um, okay, Trevor, Roxy, Pam, Chase, Cordy, Joy. Okay, uh, yeah. I mean, is it safe to say that's really... I like to see where Army Wives goes this season. I'm a faithful viewer of the show, so they can do no wrong in my eyes. Of course, I'll admit when they, you know, annoy me. But, you know, I'm still always going to be their number one fan. So, hmm. But, yeah, honestly, as much as we do hate Lenore Baker, she's really what's making the show. You know, she's kind of the reason why next week I'm going to watch again. Because the storylines are cute, but they're just not doing too much for me at the moment, you know? So, um, really, on the, the previews next week, we see that Claudia Joy is supposed to confront Lenore Baker. That's like the highlight. One thing I wish they would stop doing is stop showing 
scenes from next week's show saying that it's going to be on next week's show and then I watch next week's show and that scene isn't on there and then when they do the scenes for the next week's show that same scene is on there because I don't really know what to believe are you going to show it on this week's show or are you going to show it on next week's show which week's show are you going to show it on confusing but anyway that's my recap I enjoyed it um yeah if I get any more information about the army wife series I will let you know so visit me for more at www.armywife101.com bye